the stars are right, and that means it's time for another episode of The Whisper in Darkness. I'm your host, The Man from Lang. Thank you very much for joining me today on this episode. We are continuing with our campaign through the Circle Undone. That's right, we are taking on In the Clutches of Chaos with Diana Stanley. It has been a while since uh, we uh, played this campaign, and uh, unfortunately, this uh, scenario has been a bit of a bear for me. This is uh, my third attempt to uh, record a playthrough of this uh, scenario for you. Uh, the first time I played it incorrectly, uh, I made it actually harder on my myself. Uh, I still managed to beat it, but it, uh, I did make a mistake. And the second time, uh, I made a mistake right near the end, which was uh, very unfortunate. So I am uh, re-recording this for the third time. Hopefully we will uh, we will uh, put up a W at the end of this. Uh, I think that Diana can beat this scenario. Uh, I think it's uh, it's one of the ones in this uh, in this campaign that can be beaten. So uh, I am looking forward to uh, bringing this to you today. Before we get started, I would like to thank the patrons of the channel for their tremendous support uh, for playthroughs like this, as well as other things that I bring you on the channel. I have been doing a lot of traveling lately uh, to Arkham uh, horror-related events, such as Arkham Knights 2019 in uh, Minneapolis and uh, the Beneath the Waves event at Guardian Games in Portland, and uh, these uh, patrons have... Uh, done a uh, really helped me out in in uh, making it to those events and bringing you content special uh thanks to the latest patron to embrace the darkness juicy pekka kumpalainen he uh, in particular had uh, he had dashed off an email to me asking me when this uh, campaign would uh, when i would be continuing with it and so i am uh, happy to say that uh, it's right now we are uh, bringing it to, to you if you are a patron, make sure that you check your email for the uh, patron post-game show that will be going up shortly after uh, this uh, is uploaded to YouTube, where I uh, discuss the uh, scenario in a little bit more detail, some of my thoughts on how the game went, uh, how my deck performed, as well as uh, a few thoughts about the scenario and where it fits into the grand scheme of things in the uh, Circle Undone cycle, so stay tuned for that. Diana Stanley did not have a good run in uh, Union and Disillusion. Uh, that's putting it mildly. It was pretty disastrous for her, and uh, unfortunately she ended up taking... Uh, we accomplished very little in the uh, 12 turns that we played that uh, scenario, and uh, so we uh, earned no VPs. Now, we were able to make one change to the deck, uh, we were able to upgrade uh, our other copy of Shriveling 3 to Shriveling 5. So we've got to two copies of Shriveling 5. The, uh, the deck list here is a little outdated uh, because we do need... We also took out the puzzle box that uh, uh, we earned in For the Greater Good. So we've got a lot of uh, weapons, Machete, Twilight Blade, Enchanted Blades. We've got uh, our Shrivelings if we need to take somebody out. Uh, we've got St. Hubert's Key and Alyssa Graham to help us uh, boost our intellect up, as well as David Renfield if we uh, need some, uh, some uh, resources. I found that actually David works extremely well in this scenario uh, during my previous playthrough because you can add uh, the Doom does not add normally, so you can uh, stack a bunch of Doom on him, uh, reap the rewards in terms of resources, and then uh, kill him off and, uh, and uh, profit. Uh, we've got a lot of cancels in this deck, including I've Had Worse 2, uh, of course, two copies of Deny Existence 5, that's huge. The uh, dodge isn't gonna come in too handy in this scenario because a lot of the Silver Twilight enemies do have aloof, and so uh, we'll have to uh, engage them and then probably maybe dodge them if we are unable to kill them. Uh, Drawn to the Flame is huge here uh, because it does have, uh, we can do, grab those two clues uh, and uh, there are some very high shroud locations in this particular scenario. And, uh, and our skills, we've got Perception, Reckless Assault, Torrent of Power, and Vicious Blow. Uh, Torrent of Power hasn't worked out quite the way I had hoped. We'll see if it fares any better in, uh, in this playthrough. 
Here is a summary of the campaign so far. Uh, not much to add since uh, For the Greater Good. Uh, basically, we uh, ended up siding with the Coven when we headed to the uh, Unvisited Isle in uh, Union and Disillusion. And uh, because we uh, played so uh, terribly, uh, Carl Sanford now possesses the secrets of the universe, and uh, Valentino Rivas unfortunately met a untimely end and has uh, died. So uh, no luck there. We won't be uh, using his uh, his uh, great uh, uh, ally. Hello, Arkham Horror fans. Glad you could make it today. This is uh, our playthrough of uh, of In the Clutches of Chaos. We're set up here and ready to go. Uh, as you know, the setup for this uh, scenario, you have uh, all these locations. You have two copies of each, and uh, you shuffle them up at the beginning, and you lay them out. So that is a, a random element. Uh, improves the replayability of the scenario. Uh, we start here at south side. It's a two-shroud location with zero clues. It has the Arkham and Central traits, and it has the free triggered ability. Choose and discard any number of cards from your hand. For each card discarded this way, we can move one breach from south side to the current act. Now, as you probably know by now, the way we win this scenario is we breaches will open at these locations randomly uh, during the mythos phase. We have to go there. We have to move the breaches from those locations over here to uh, Act 1A, Dark Knowledge Version 2. And then once we have three breaches on this Act card, we can take a free triggered ability to remove those breaches and place a clue at random on one of these locations. So we have random breaches appearing followed by random clues. Once we get three clues, we can advance. Uh, we have to immediately advance, spend them and advance to the, uh, to the showdown at the end with uh, Carl Sanford. So uh, we will be uh, trying to get ourselves both. Uh, there's a couple things you need to do in this scenario. One, you need to keep the breaches down. Uh, you need to keep those under control. If you get too many breaches out in play, you're going to have a bad day because those breaches, uh, once you have four in a location, that will trigger an incursion, and incursions put breaches on neighboring locations. So if you have an incursion here at the Silver Twilight Lodge where it all ends, uh, you're just putting one breach on uh, French Hill. But if you happen to have an incursion at Southside, well, that's going to be, uh, that's five breaches you've got, to, uh, you're adding to the table. So that can be very, very bad news. And uh, the game can quickly get out of control if you, uh, if you're not able to keep those down. Now, uh, act, uh, or sorry, agenda 1A is the chariot seven. The conquest has begun. All shall tremble before the host of chaos. Submit or perish. And it has the forced effect that, uh, I just need to lock this down uh, so we don't add Doom to it. When Doom would be placed on this agenda, instead place one breach on a number of different random locations equal to one more than the number of investigators. So that will be two breaches during the Mythos phase. And uh, when a breach would be placed on a location with three breaches, instead resolve an incursion at that location. And it has a Doom threshold of seven. So if you're able to keep the breaches under control, that uh, Doom can go up uh, quite slowly if you're... Uh, if you're on top of the breaches. If you're not, you can have a, an incursion which can lead to a chain reaction and all of a sudden the doom uh, can uh, skyrocket very quickly. So you need to really stay on top of the breaches. Act 1A, Dark Knowledge version two, the state of the city continues to decay. Breaches in reality begin to rip through the fabric of the earth and a faint melody of discordant pipes can be heard throughout the streets. That's uh, no doubt from this uh, Piper of Azathoth we set aside at the beginning of the game. I have yet to run into the Piper in any of my playthroughs of uh, The Circle Undone and I'm hoping to avoid uh, seeing him today. Uh, and it has the free triggered ability, remove three breaches from the act, place one clue on a random location. And then the objective, when we have uh, obtained three clues, we have to spend them to immediately advance. That will advance us to our next uh, agenda, or the next act, which will be to, uh, to defeat um, Carl Sanford. We are playing the, in the clutches of chaos on standard difficulty. The skulls are minus X, where X is the total amount of doom and breaches on your location. That's pretty good at the beginning of the game. 
the skulls are only about a you know depending on the location zero um, minus one at the beginning and uh, they get progressively worse as the uh, scenario continues uh, but still not too bad if you have only a doom and a breach there's still only minus two so that's not too bad uh, the cultist is reveal another token and if there are fewer than three or breaches on your location place a breach so the cultists are bad news we don't want to draw those because that will add another breach to our location and we want to keep those down the tablet's a minus two and for each point you fail by you have to remove a breach from the current act that's going to slow you down uh, just getting those clues out on the table and the uh, elder thing is a minus three and if you fail, place one breach on a random location. So ideally, when you're pulling from the chaos bag, you want to be about plus two uh, up of, on the on the uh, on the test. Uh, sometimes plus three if you're really worried about that elder thing. Uh, I tend not to worry about that one too much, but uh, I try to hit that plus two threshold just so I'm not uh, removing breaches from acts and. Uh, there's not much you can do about that uh, that cultist, unfortunately. Diana Stanley is here. We have our uh, two copies of Arcane Research as well as Indebted. So we start the game with three resources. We've got two physical trauma and two mental trauma. The mental trauma coming from our Arcane copies of Arcane Research. We are, I think we're ready to uh, shuffle up our deck and see what we can do this scenario. Let's give this a try. Uh, let's see what we get in our opening hand. Always the exciting part of the game, drawing our opening hand. So we get a nice opening hand here. We have uh, St. Hubert's Key. That gives us plus one uh, willpower and plus one intellect. We also have Alyssa Graham, plus one intellect. So we want to keep those. Uh, we also have an Enchanted Blade and a copy of Deny Existence uh, 5. So we have some way of canceling. There are those uh, hunting shadows in the deck that will deal two damage unless we have a clue, uh, or unless we spend a clue, sorry. So those could uh, get very painful very quickly. Uh, I think we're gonna pitch the, uh, I really like this hand. Uh, we're gonna have to sort of play things slowly to begin with, I think, while we get everything out. Uh, but uh, once we get set up, uh, we could uh, we could really do some uh, some good work here. So I am going to uh, mulligan the reckless assault, and uh, we will draw another card. There is a torrent of power that uh, well that works with the enchanted blade. So we could uh, we could use that. We're going to probably need to get the Saint Hubert's key and Alyssa out fairly quickly for the willpower and. Uh, and intellect bonuses we also want to get uh, uh, we want to uh, bump up diana's willpower as fast as we can to try to uh, ward off some of those treacheries there's rotting remains there's uh, frozen in fear being the two two uh, big ones there are also a couple of other tests you've got to look out for so if we can get her, her willpower up those tests become a lot less uh, dangerous I think we're ready to go here, so let's uh, let's add our three um, three actions. At the beginning of the game, we had to add two breaches in play, and we ended up with breaches at Uptown and Hangman's Hill. So uh, a nice uh, straight shot across the map to get those uh, to clear those two breaches. So I think what we'll do uh, we don't have any way to gain resources. So I think what we'll do is we're going to spend an action to gain a resource. Uh, let's then we'll take an action. We'll spend the four resources to get uh, Saint Hubert's key into play. So that will boost us up to two willpower and four intellect. And then I think I'm going to spend. Um, we can probably stay here. We either need we either need a resource, or uh, the enemies are aloof, so I'm not too worried about the enchanted blade right away. Let's go see what um, let's go see what Uptown has to offer. Uh, it is a four shroud location. That's bad news for uh, for Diana. 
Uh, we've got a four intellect, but only with our good stuff in play. It has an action test two uh, agility. For each point you succeed by, move one breach from uptown to the current act. Uh, we don't have a ton of agility icons to work with, so that will be... Uh, and we only have a three agility, so we will need plus ones, uh, zeros, or... Uh, Elder thing or elder signs in order to to grab those breaches. So uh, we'll have to give it a try. We'll see what we can do. Uh, that's going to be our turn. No enemies, of course. During the upkeep phase, we draw ourselves a copy of Dark Prophecy. Of course, that's the card that lets us choose. Uh, we reveal five chaos tokens instead of one and choose one, and it is a cancel, so we can. Uh, uh, we can stack that underneath us. Uh, it is a sorry. It is a, an ignore. That's the uh, the trick that to lets uh, Diana Stanley work her magic. So that's helpful, uh, especially if we can keep the skulls at zeros. That would be very nice indeed. So maybe we play that this turn, and uh, perhaps we can pull a skull to uh, to grab this. Uh, Oh, that, that's not going to help us, because Skulls would be minus one at this location, and uh, we only have a three. So that's not going to help us. Well, we'll have to think of, uh, we'll have to come up with another uh, strategy here. Uh, so we're going to the, the first Mythos phase of the game. So we reveal our two breaches. Shuffle up our random locations. Breach number one, it's at Rivertown. And breach number two is at the Silver Twilight Lodge. So we have breaches uh, fairly spread out. Spread out all over the place. All right, and we need to draw an encounter card. Let's see what we get. We are starting, oh, this is a bad one. Primordial Gateway Revelation attached to a random location. Place breaches on attached location until there are exactly three breaches on it. Treat the attached location as if its printed text box were blank. Uh, then we can test uh, intellect or willpower four to close the primordial gateway. If you succeed, we discard it. Uh, of course, that does not uh, that does not get rid of the breaches. So we have to get rid of the gateway and the breaches. Uh, I don't have anything that can cancel that, unfortunately, at the moment. So it uh, looks like we're getting, uh, we're kicking this off at Hangman's Hill. All right. So attach to a random location, place breaches on attached location until they're exactly three. All right. So. We have uh, got the breaches. Now we want to get we want to get Alyssa out. I don't think Alyssa is a huge priority. Uh, we'd like to get this breach m removed. So we'd be going three versus two. Uh, if we played. Can't use the torrent. Don't want to use the deny. I really don't like the idea of just making three straight tests. Just making blind tests. Uh, but I think that's what we're going to do here. Um, let's give it a try. Uh, three versus two. Chaos bag gives us a minus two. Let's try it one more time. Three versus two. We get another minus two. I think I'm just going to take a resource at this point uh, so we can get either the Enchanted Blade or Alyssa out uh, possibly next turn. So not, not great. Uh, not a great turn for us there. Uh, we draw ourselves a machete. Okay, so we've got an Enchanted Blade and a machete. Uh, I like the Enchanted Blade uh, a little bit more because it gives us a bigger boost on our uh, combat. Let's go to uh, turn three, Mythos phase. 
So let's draw our breaches. There's a breach at Merchant District and a breach at Hangman's Hill. Okay, well, that uh, immediately triggers our... Uh, so we add a breach there, that triggers an incursion. So that's bad news. Uh, so we add a doom there, and then we add a breach there. So now we have two breaches at uh, at the uh, at Uptown. So that's going to be tough to. That's going to be awfully tough without a lot of agility icons in our deck to uh, to uh, deal with that. So we may be better off going up to Merchant District, maybe. Um, the gateway is still locking this down, but uh, it's not hurting us at the moment. Um, yeah, I don't think we could have moved, we could have tested. Yeah, I don't think we would have. Not sure we could have prevented that, but uh, we do have to draw an encounter card still. So that is going to be, there is a Lodge Neophyte, any empty location, and he enters play with a Doom. Wow, okay, so two of seven Doom already. Um, let's see, any empty location. Uh, if we go... We could try. Uh, we could try a torrent of power here. That would give us five versus two, and we have a dark prophecy. Uh, would that help us though? It just gives us bad tokens. Dark prophecy doesn't help us at this location. So the Lodge guy, we're going to go up to Merchant District anyway. So I think we'll go there and he will get a Doom. So we will need to kill him at some point. Uh, I think what we will do is we're going to spend... Uh, risky but I think we'll spend we'll take our first action we're gonna spend our first action to play the enchanted blade that gets us four charges now we can supercharge a torrent of power um, we don't want to spend too many charges but we also want to get these two we want to clear off uptown if we can do that we spent two charges that would put us at um, that would get us one two three will uh, wild icons and that would get us six versus two yeah that's what we're gonna do second action we're gonna spend. We're gonna use our torrent of power. Spend two charges off the uh, enchanted blade to get us three wild icons for our agility. So we're going six versus two. Need a good uh, draw from the chaos bag here. Chaos bag gives us a tablet. That's a minus two. So for each point you fail by, we remove a breach from the act. That doesn't matter. Uh, so we succeeded four versus two. So we get to remove these two breaches. Good stuff. Uh, I think is our next deck. The nice thing here about the Enchanted Blade is that uh, we can kill this guy without having to use a charge, which is very helpful. Very, very helpful. Uh, so our third action, I think we will be to move up here to uh, Merchant District. They are connected, are they not? Blue Triangle, Blue Triangle, good, okay. Merchant District, two shroud location. We have to discard the top five, 10, or 15 cards from our deck for every five cards. Dis discarded in this way, move one breach from Merchant District to the current act. Draw each weakness discarded that way. Right, okay. 
So our goal will be to kill this guy and grab this. Uh, once we grab this, we get a clue, which will be good. Uh, he is aloof, so we don't have to worry about him. We get another copy of St. Hubert's Key. Uh, what is our current sanity? Uh, five, two. So we are at the three threshold for uh, reckless assault if we need it. Uh, so we go to the uh, mythos phase. Shuffle up our locations. Our first breach is going at Merchant District. That's good because we can take basically one action and get two breaches out of it. And the second one is going at South Church. Good stuff. Okay, I, I don't like the idea of discarding a pile of cards, but we don't really have much of a choice. Uh, we get a car. We get an we get an encounter card, which is going to be there is rotting remains. Yikes. Um, we are a two versus a three. I don't have anything that can cancel that either at the moment. So we are going to just go two versus three. Chaos Bag gives us another tablet. Tablet is... Oh no! So for each point you fail by, we remove one breach from the current act. So we just lost all of our hard work there. Really unfortunate pull, uh, pull on that one. And we're taking three horror. Uh, wow, that puts us at that. That uh, is devastating. Um, so we go up to, so our sanity is minus two, so we're actually a five sanity. So we go up three, and then we trigger the St. Hubert's key. We lose it, and then we heal to horror, I believe. Yes, we do. So that was, uh, that was bad. There's no, uh, that really hurts. That drops our, our intellect and our willpower back down to our base values. Um, yeah, that's, that's not good. We do have a second copy of St. Hubert's Key, though. So, uh, but we need the resources, and right now we are very resource-starved. And we need to get some resources so we can start canceling some of this stuff. So I think what we're going to do here is we will... Um, yeah, man, that hurt. That hurt, hurt, hurt. All right, well, we get our three actions. Still very early in the game. We will engage this guy... Uh, since we're here, we might as well get rid of him. Uh, we will attack him with the with the enchanted blade. That is going to be that's going to give us plus two. Uh, so we'd be at five versus three. And do we want to use our dark prophecy? I think we do. Uh, tablets are minus two. Skulls would be minus two. I think doom at our location, though. Doom on your location. OK, so this guy's doom doesn't count. OK, I think I'm going to do that. Uh, we'll spend one to stack this underneath us. I'm mainly doing this just to get some get some uh, some momentum here. Hopefully, uh, so we will gain a resource back and draw a card. There's a word of protection. Okay, that would have been helpful last turn, uh, but that's another stackable card. So we're going to draw five. We're going to reveal five chaos tokens and pick one. So we're looking for skulls or tablets, basically, at this point. 
Uh, we will draw X tokens from the chaos bag. We want five tokens. And there's a tablet and a skull. Okay, so we will take the skull. The skull uh, is, I guess we could take that to either one. It works. Uh, so we were five versus three, so we're minus two, so we tie him and we kill him. Nice, okay. So he dies. That dark prophecy paid off nicely. Willpower goes up a little bit. Uh, we have one action left. We could clear these two breaches, but we have to lose 10 cards. Uh, and we can't, if we draw a weakness, we can't stack it. We can't, if we draw our uh, terror weakness, we can't deny existence it. We'd only take one horror, I believe, though. So that wouldn't be bad. Uh, I think we do it. So let's do it. We'll go up here, perception, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. No weaknesses, wow. Okay, so we didn't draw any weaknesses, so we move these two breaches. And that will be our turn. Whoops. All right. That was our turn. We draw a Reckless Assault. Uh, that's not going to help us immediately, but if we can get another uh, St. Hubert's Key down, uh, then we'd be okay. We do have a Ward of Protection and a Deny, so that's good. Uh, that will be our first turn. So it's turn five. We will go and draw our breaches. Shuffle those up. We've got a breach at South Church and a breach at Uptown. Okay, the Uptown ones are a real pain. I don't know what the South Church ones are like. So we'll have to go down there. We're going to draw an encounter card. It is Secrets of Beyond. This is one of the ones from the uh, from the in the clutches of chaos an encounter set. Find the cultist enemy and play with the most doom on it. For each doom on that enemy, place one breach on that enemy's location. If no breaches are placed, it gains surge. So it goes away. We draw another. Oh, chaos manifest. Test three willpower. Place one breach on x different random locations where x is the amount which by which you failed by. Uh, we are going to cancel that. Uh, that is a bad one. So we spend a resource and we gain a resource. And we take a horror. And we sh put that under us. And we gain a card. There is our second copy of Reckless Assault. We will simply cancel that nonsense right away. All right, so we need to go to South Church. We're still looking for our first clue of the game. Our willpower is up to three, though. Uh, we're going to save that stuff. So if I go uptown, is South Church connected? No, it's not, but we can go to... Uh, south side, get our three actions. So first action to south side, second action to uh, south church. South church is a two, oh gee whiz. Oh, south church, you are a beast. South church is a disc, uh, two shroud location, zero clues. Discard an asset you control from play to move all breaches from South Church to the current act. That is our enchanted blade, unfortunately. Um, we still have a machete if we need it. 
Uh, okay, so let's. Uh, that was our second action. Let's do it. Uh, we will discard our enchanted blade, and we will move these breaches. All right. So we've got four breaches. Let's uh, remove three and spawn a clue uh, at a random location. Come on, good one. Rivertown. We don't know what's at Rivertown yet, but there's a clue there. So we'll head up there probably next. We'll see where the breaches show up, and uh, we will head there if necessary. Okay, so we got two breaches. Our willpower is up to three. Lost our blade. That's a bit unfortunate, but... Uh, there is a drawn to the flame. I'm gonna hang on to that thing like it's uh, that's that's huge. That's gonna get us a clue or two if we're lucky. Uh, we have eight cards in our hand, so we're going to the uh, mythos phase. Turn six. Uh, let's grab some breaches. Shuffle those up again. Breach is going to be at South Church, and. Merchant District. Okay. South Church and Merchant District. It would be great if we could sack our deny existence for a, uh, a rotting remains. That would be cool. We draw a false lead. If you have no clues, it gains surge. So that surges into the Lodge Enforcer. Spawns at the location with the most breaches. That will be, well, we're tied. We are tied. He has retaliate. He's got four health. He is a big bad guy for sure. Three, uh, three fight, four health, three evade. Uh, Spawns at the uh, Humanoid Cult of Silver Twilight. Spawns at the most breaches or Silver Twilight Lodge if there are no uh, locations in play with breaches on them. Retaliate, Treach Lodge, and Enforcer's location as if its printed text box were blank. I think I'm gonna shuffle him away. Let's play Dark Insight on that guy. We don't need him. We uh, just be, we don't have a way of killing him at the moment, which is the big problem. Uh, not in play anyway. So we use two resources, we gain a resource, and we draw a card. That gets us our shriveling. Now we can deal with him. Uh, our willpower is up to four, and he goes back in the deck. Okay, so we won't have to deal with him for the time being. Now, we need to control an asset in order to discard all the breaches, so that's not going to work. Uh, we gain three actions. Uh, I want to see what this clue, what Rivertown is like. Uh, we can move up there. We know what Merchant District is like. We sort of want to be able to hit Merchant District and discard our deck to recycle it, if we can. Um, so let's move twice. We'll move back to South Side. South Side is probably connected, is it not? It sure is. We'll move up to Rivertown. Three Shroud location with zero clues. Uh, choose and discard a card from your hand. Move one breach from Rivertown to the current act, plus one additional breach for each intellect skill icon on that card. So we can choose and discard a card from our hand to move one breach to the current act. Um, or we can just try to grab the clue, but that's not going to do us any good. Um, I still want those guys out. Still want St. Hubert's Key and Alyssa if we can get her. 
Um, I guess we could discard, could discard a Reckless Assault, drop Alyssa next turn, try to grab this clue. Uh, a Reckless Assault would get us a Breach. Uh, let's do that. We'll discard a Reckless Assault. We'll move this Breach over. So we've got two, we'll need uh, one more. And that'll be our turn. That's an action too. All right. Emergency cash, okay, that's huge. That's very nice. That could really help us. That's gonna really help us uh, right now. We need those resources so we can get, uh, get Alyssa and St. Hubert's key in play and uh, help us out a little bit here so we can build some momentum. All right. Uh, that was our turn. Quick turns here in this game. Mythos phase. We will shuffle up our locations. We have a breach at south side. And Uptown. Oh, Uptown is such a pain. Uh, I think we're going to have to leave Uptown. Uh, we worked our butt off to get those two breaches there, and then that just... Uh, we lost them to that tablet. Encounter card on Wings of Darkness. This might actually help us a little bit. Uh, test four agility. If you fail, take one damage and horror... Then discard each night gaunt enemy and move to a central location. Uh, I don't have anything I can cancel that with, so we are going to test for agility. We have three. Uh, what's the chaos bag say? Skull, that is a zero. So we still fail, so we're going to take a damage and a horror. Uh, I am going to use my deny existence on the horror. So we're going to gain a resource. We are going to draw a card, and we're going to take a damage. Our willpower is up to five. OK, so we've done what we need to do here. We've got ourselves, we jacked our willpower up to five. So we're doing OK. And we got to move a free move to south side. We can choose and discard any number of cards from our hand uh, to get ourselves a breach. Uh, we want to add a bunch of uh, actions. So I think our first action will be, that's a free triggered ability too. We're going to play the emergency cash. Second action, we want... St. Hubert's key out this turn. Okay, so our now we're six willpower, four intellect. And now we uh, we could discard a card. We can discard a copy of our machete to move a breach. Uh, we still have one action, actually. Um, what's more important? A machete or Alyssa? Hmm. If we draw a Night Gaunt, that would be bad news. Any of the Silver Twilight guys aren't that big a deal. The Night Gaunt is a bit of a problem. Hmm. Uh, I think we play the Machete. So we play the machete, we will pitch.
we will pitch uh, the other machete to, oh, we could die. Yeah, um, yeah, we might. We'd take four horde. No, we'd still be alive, but uh, if we draw our weakness, uh, we would die. Uh, we would have to use the key again to keep us in this game. Uh, so we spent, we discarded a card, so we add a breach to the act, and then we will trigger it to get ourselves another clue. So we'll have two of two clues on the table. This one is at South Church. That's a two shroud location too. So that's pretty nice. So that's helpful. Okay, that's going to be our turn. So we've managed to keep the breaches under control. Uptown is a bit of a pain because that's the agility one. We can't really do that one again. Um, we've got a shrivel, a big shriveling in our hand and six willpower. So we are almost stacked up as high as we can go. So as long as there is the tower, that is a huge pain in the side. Uh, we can't commit cards to skill tests as long as the tower is in our hand. We need four resources. Uh, we may just have to take a bunch of resources to try to get rid of that as fast as we can. Uh, we go to the mythos phase. Let us draw our two breaches first. Breach at French Hill. That's the first one of those this game and a breach at Hangman's Hill. Hangman's Hill, of course, being under the influence of the Primordial Gate, um, which we cannot close. It just treats this as blank, so we cannot uh, deal with it. We can get rid of that uh, gate if necessary, though. We draw an encounter card, which is going to be... There's the Night Gaunt, of course. Um, why did I feel like the Night Gaunt was coming? Um, so yeah, Night Gaunt, three fight, four health, uh, one evade, monster Night Gaunt hunter. While attempting to evade the hunting Night Gaunt, double the negative modifier, he'll hit us for a damage and a horror. And he, uh, he has four health, but that's two whacks with the old machete and he will be done. Uh, but we can't commit cards to skill tests, so this could be a bit of a, a throwdown here. Uh, let's see, we need, we are three, four with the machete, four versus three, don't like those odds. Let's see what happens. Chaos Bag gives us a cultist. Uh, if there are fewer than three breaches on your location, we have to add a breach and we reveal another token. Let's see, maybe we get lucky. Tablet, uh, that's minus two, so that's no good. Tablet, we remove a breach from the current act, so no effect. Let's fight it again. Uh, four versus three. There is our first auto fail of the game, so no luck there. And we're gonna take a damage and a horror unless we evade this thing. Man, that, uh, the tower is very badly timed. Uh, yeah, we're going to take a damage in a horror and lose our St. Hubert's key again, unfortunately. Uh, let's try to evade this time. Uh, three versus one. Chaos Bag says plus one, so he is evaded. All right, well, we can try again next turn. That was our investigation phase. We get a deny existence. That's great news because that will save us from uh, that will save us from our weakness if we draw it. Night Gaunt engages us again, uh, but we have the deny existence to save us from our weakness, which would uh, if we had drawn our weakness there, 
uh, we would be in very big trouble. The, t the tower is bad enough. Uh, we go to the mythos phase. Let's see where our breaches are coming from on turn nine. Rivertown and Uptown again with Uptown. We're we're staying away from Uptown. Nothing to do there. Uh, encounter card is going to be a Frozen in Fear. Uh, I'm not too worried about breaking that, but it's going to cause us some trouble with the Hunting Horror because we're our first action is going to be a fight action, of course, and uh, we're going to take some. Uh, now we could use the deny existence to heal the horror, but we really need that for terror if we can help it. All right, let's fight this thing. So first fight action is gonna take us two actions to do. Uh, I wish this thing was the uh, Twilight Blade right now, not a machete. Uh, so we're at four versus three. Can't commit any cards, so Chaos Bag gives us another tablet. So that is a failure. And do we evade again? Let's try to evade. Three versus one. Minus one, so that gives us a minus two. So this guy is evaded. Uh, unfortunately, we're wasting a ton of time here uh, just trying to deal with this. Uh, unfortunately, I can't discard the tower. That would be very sweet uh, if I was at so being at south side. Um, yeah, just we're wasting time. That's the biggest issue here. Uh, Dark Prophecy... Um, that might be okay. We can't commit it, but we can use it to draw a uh, skull, which would hit this thing. Uh, actually, we do need to test for Frozen in Fear. We're going six versus three. Uh, let's see how we do. We get a minus three, so we barely pass that, but we do get rid of it. Um... He engages us, the Night Gaunt engages us again, and we go to the Mythos phase. This is just rapid fire uh, turns here. What was our last Mythos? Oh, the, the Frozen and Fear was the last one. Okay. Let's shuffle this up. We get Hangman's Hill and Silver Twilight Lodge. Okay, so the. We're starting to build up a lot of breaches. Way more than I'd like. Um, draw an encounter card, which is going to be Terror Unleashed. If there are no breaches on your location, place one breach on your location. You must take X damage or horror, divide it as you wish. X is the total amount of doom and breaches on your location. So if there are no breaches on your location, place one breach. You must take X damage or horror, divide it as you wish. X is the total amount of doom. And so I take one damage. We'll take a damage. Yeah, I think we're, uh, we needed to beat this quickly. And uh, we are really, this Night Gaunt is just uh, giving us too much trouble unfortunately, but we do get two attacks against it this turn. Uh, let's do attack number one, uh, four versus three. There's a minus one, so we finally deal some damage against this guy, two damage. Let's do it again. Let's kill this guy this turn so we can actually do some stuff. Four versus three, and we get a plus one. Okay, thank goodness. He's dead. Okay, uh, we're going to get rid of the tower next turn. Um, uh, we're going 
to get rid of the tower next turn, and then we're going to... Uh, we can put a breach. Uh, we can discard a card. I'm going to get rid of the Reckless Assault. I'm going to move this breach. Uh, we're going to move... This is get rid of an asset to move all breaches. So we don't want to do that if we can help it. Uh, we're going to go here. Move to French Hill. Choose and discard a card from your hand. Move one breach from French Hill to the current act. Plus one additional breach for each uh, willpower icon on that card. Three shot location. So uh, ideally we want to uh, discard a card here that will get us... Uh, multiple breaches if we can since that's an action but we're going to move to silver twilight lodge and try to clear that uh, we'll try to keep this side of the board under control that's going to be our uh, our issue all right um that's going to be our turn at this point i would really like to draw our weakness speak of the devil there is terrible secret uh, if there are no cards beneath Diana Stanley, shuffle it back into your deck. Otherwise, for each card beneath Diana, you must either discard that card or take one horror. So I'm going to take four horror, and I'm going to deny existence that, and heal four horror. And that is sweet, because I get another resource and a card. So we gain a resource, so we're up to five, and we get a card out of it. So there is our Ace of Rods. Uh, not quite what we want. Uh, we can get rid of the tower this turn. Choose and discard a card from hand. I don't think we want to do that yet. Uh, we'll have to go to Silver Twilight Lodge and see what we can do there. It is turn 11. This is a long one. Uh, breach at Uptown. So this one goes off. We had a Doom there. And then we go uh, 3. So South Side. So those 3. OK. One there, one there, and one there. Second one, south side. Okay, so we're going to have to discard a bunch of cards, and we could get rid of those breaches. But that would give us our, our clue. That would give us our three clues. Then we just need to grab the three clues, and we're set. We've got a willpower of seven at the moment. What? How do we get rid of the breaches here? Discard a card from hand. That's deck ourselves. OK, so we draw an encounter card, which is going to be, oh, this thing. This is bad news. Uh, so this is test three, ah, test three willpower. Place one breach on X different random locations where X is match you fail by. I'm uh, seven versus three. I like my odds here. We get a skull. That's a minus one. So that is actually uh, probably a great card. That's a great card for us. Question. Do we head Silver Twilight or back to South Side? Uh, south side, we'd have to discard. Uh, we don't get four actions, we only get three. Um, I'd really like to get Alyssa down. Um, 
Alyssa delays the Just worried about my uh, damage. Uh, I think I'm going to play shoot. Um. There's no no way that we're going to end up with a I don't think we can end up with a with south side going away let's go to silver twilight silver twilight two shot location uh zero clues search the encounter deck and discard pile for a silver twilight enemy and draw it then move all breaches from silver twilight lodge to the current act so we can do that. We can go find the guy we killed before. Uh, bring him back. Uh, we can put him on any empty location. Uh, we want to put him where? Put him I think I'm gonna put him in uptown. And he gets a doom. Uh do I wanna put him in uptown or river town? Because I need to go to Rivertown. I could kill him at some point later down the road. Yeah, let's put him up here. That way we can deal with him if necessary. I don't see myself going here if I can help it. Um, but we do get those two. Uh, we did spend an action move action we get the three all right so we've got our three clues now shuffle that up uh we need to put these down shuffle that up so our final clue is at uptown of course okay all right so now we know what we need to do we can grab this clue at Uptown with the Drawn to the Flame. This one we can investigate straight up. Uh, and this one we can get easily enough. Uh, we can also investigate that one if we can get Alyssa down. Is that connected to, that is connected there. So where do I wanna go? Do I wanna work my way back? Cause he spawns here. I wanna grab clue and then be able to kill him right away. So if I move down here, one, two, grab clue. Yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, we can choose and discard a card to get rid of that if we need to. Now we also now we've got our clues out, but we need to make sure that we can we can keep the breaches under control too. That's that's the thing we need to do. All right, we investigated enemy phase. We draw our second copy of Shriveling Five. And we go to the enemy, we go to the mythos phase. Let's spawn some breaches. 
Breach number one is at Uptown. Breach number two is at French Hill. Okay. That's okay. We can get rid of quite a few breaches here. Um, uh, we're going to get a card first. There's a rotting remains. We are seven versus uh, seven versus three. We get a minus three, so we're protected from that. So we've got we've got Diana's willpower high enough that we can defend ourselves against those willpower treacheries. Uh, we can choose and discard a card from our hand to move one breach for plus one for each icon. So let's discard this uh, dark prophecy. That will take an action, but we get to move the two breaches and clear this location. So that was one action. Second action will move to south side. Uh, we need to discard a card. We need to discard some cards. Uh, I can discard the Ace of Rods to get one breach. That gives us our three, so we can put a clue down. Let's see, let's hope it's in a good spot. Hangman's Hill, that's a terrible spot. Um, no luck there, unfortunately. Uh, depending on how that shroud location is. Uh, so we could go We could also reshuffle our deck here shortly by going to Merchant District if necessary. Okay, let's go to Uptown. We can go Uptown, South Church, Rivertown for our clues, and we'll do that. All right. Enemy phase, nothing happens. We go, we draw a ward of protection. That's sweet, very sweet. We can uh, cancel something deadly, and since we healed all our horror, we have plenty of horror to work with. Uh, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we will draw our breaches. One at south side. One at French Hill. Okay. We draw an encounter card, which is going to be Secrets of the Beyond. Find the cultist enemy and play with the most doom on it. For each doom on that enemy, place one breach at that enemy's location. So there are two breaches at River Town now. So if we can get there, we can clear those two breaches as well. Now, we're going to have to draw an encounter card for this one. If we use our Drawn to the Flame. Uh, let's do that. So we're going to draw into the Flame. Draw an encounter card. There's a hunting shadow. Uh, we must either spend a clue or take two damage. I'm going to cancel that and take a horror instead. Whoops, I added a resource. Uh, we'll take a horror instead, but we get a clue. Uh, second action. We move back here. Third action, we're going to move to South Church. And that'll be our turn. We get a vicious blow. All right. 
uh, not overly helpful. Uh, we will shuffle up our breaches again. See where we are. South side. Okay, this is getting serious. And Rivertown. So Rivertown and South side both are uh, very serious situations now. Encounter card is a frozen in fear. That is okay. We can deal with that. Uh, we get three actions. Uh, we're going to investigate. We're going to go four versus two. We get a minus two, so we get that clue. Uh, we're going to use an action to move up to south side. We're going to discard our vicious blow. How many do we need? We need like a good shriveling. Uh, that's going to take both our actions too because of the frozen in fear. Uh, so since we're here, um, do we even need Alyssa anymore? That's a good question. Um, what do I have to do here? That's the, I want to discard Alyssa there if I have to. So I'm going to use a shriveling here and we'll move two breaches and that'll be our turn. We get David Renfield. Okay, that's good. It gives us another willpower. Uh, and that's going to be our turn. Breaches. It is turn 15. Usually games for me end at turn 12. So this is a, this is a long one. Uh, Merchant District. And French Hill. And we draw an encounter. Uh, we needed a test for Frozen in Fear. I forgot that. Uh, seven versus three. Tablet, that's a minus two. So we get rid of that stupid thing. Um, we did not draw an encounter card yet. So we get a Dissonant Voices. No assets or events. That's fine by me. Uh, let's move up to Rivertown. We can get there, right? Yes, we can. Uh, we are going to take an action to discard Alyssa to, uh, that gives us, uh, we'll take the action, discard Alyssa, that puts us at plus one for each additional breach. So we get to move two breaches. One, two, and we keep that one down. Now we get to, we get to fire off our uh, random clue. Random clue shows up at Rivertown, okay. So we've got another clue there. We have one action remaining. We need to investigate four versus three. Uh, four versus three it is. Let's see how we do. Uh, an auto fail. Our second auto fail of the game. No big deal. There is the Twilight Blade. Uh, we definitely want that in play if we can get it. That would be very, very helpful at this stage of the game. Because if once we get this clue, we're going to spawn, what's his name, Carl Sanford, and then we're going to try to kill him in one turn. 
Mythos phase, let's get us some breaches. Uptown. I'm okay with Uptown and South Church. Okay. Uh, if I wanted to get rid of the breaches at South Church, I could run down there, dump my, my machete. But I think we're in the end game here. Uh, we are going to draw an encounter card. Terror Unleashed, if there are no breaches on your location, take place one breach on your location. So we get a breach. That's lucky because there were three there, so that would have caused it. Uh, and then you must take damage and horror divided as you wish. X is the total amount of doom and breaches on your location. So we take two, two horror. Uh, actually, we can take a damage and a horror, I think. Uh, no, I think we'll just take the horror. Okay. Um, I think we take a setup turn here. So if we go... I think we do a setup turn. Let's play two for David. That gives us another willpower uh, once we doom him up. One, two, three. So we'll add a doom to him. And we gain a resource. We're going to play shriveling for three. And that gets four resources. And now we can go four versus three. Four versus three. Chaos bag says minus three, no luck. Drawing lots of bad tokens in this one. We get a draw into the flame. Okay, well that's, that's about as good as we can get because that gets us two clues and then we're protected from hunting shadow for a turn and uh yeah we're in good shape i think here all right um next turn breaches south side and silver twilight lodge all right Counter card, demonic piping. It's going to surge into a terror unleashed. Um, uh, place a breach on our location. Then we must take X damage or horror divided as you wish. So we've got to take three. So we can take a damage on David. A damage on us and a horror. Okay. All right, so we're going to play Drawn to the... Th oh, maybe we should play the Chaos Blade first. Because if we play the Chaos Blade, we can cancel the... Uh, yeah, Chaos Blade first. Uh, we have one hand. Oh, we can dual wield. So we get the Chaos... Oh, sorry, Chaos Blade. What am I talking about? That's too much Dark Souls for you. Uh, so we play the Twilight Blade. Now we can use our uh, willpower instead of our fight, uh, our combat, and we can play cards 
uh, under her so we can use our uh, deny existence, ward of protections, whatnot to uh, protect us. So we are going to play Drawn to the Flame as our second action. We draw an encounter card. There's a Rotting Remains, seven versus three. Uh, we will draw a minus four, so we still pass that. We get the two clues. Okay, so we protected us from Haunting Shadow. Um, now we immediately advance. When the investigators have collected the requisite number of clues, they must immediately advance, spend them, and advance. Okay, so we go one, two, three, and we advance to act. Uh, and there is our friend. I'm not sure why he's small. Carl Sanford, death, Deathless Fanatic. Uh, he has uh, four combat, six health per investigator, and four agility. He has the human humanoid Silver Twilight and elite traits. Spawns at Silver Twilight Lodge. Uh, he does not have that. Uh, Carl Sanford gets minus two health for each clue controlled by an investigator, so he's only got four health. Uh, after any number of breaches are removed from the current act, place one of them on Carl Sanford's location. He's worth two victory points, and he hits for one damage and three horror. And he has Hunter and Retaliate. All right, we are in good shape. He's going to hunt. We're going to kill him next turn. That's the plan. Um... And we get our next act, which has a breach on it. Act 2A is New World Order. This nightmare will not end until you overthrow the one behind it, Carl Sanford and the Order of the Silver Twilight. Even with the world falling apart all around you, the cult seems intent on continuing their plot to the bitter end. As a free triggered ability, we can remove three breaches from this act to place a clue on a random location if, and our objective is if Carl Sanford is defeated, we advance. All right. We have one action remaining. Uh, we're not going to need to commit cards to anything. We're just going to blow him out of the water with, uh, with our mighty power. We've got three cards left. What a great uh, timing on that Drawn to the Flame. Um, all my weaknesses are gone. I'm going to draw a card. There's I've Had Worse 2. That is great news because that uh, can cancel damage and or horror dealt to us if necessary. We go to the upkeep, we draw a flashlight. We're not going to need those now, but we could play it if we want here to get rid of a couple of uh, breaches. Uh, he hunts to French Hill, which is fine. Hunts to French Hill. Uh, we can get to French Hill, right? Right. That's where it's going to go down. Uh, I think we're just ready to go here. Mythos phase, let's add a couple breaches. Uh, Hangman's Hill, so that's going to be another Doom. So we add a Doom here and a Breach here. And the second one is at Uptown, so we get another did that just kill us? Two, three, four. I don't. Oh, it might. We might just die here. Uh, two. So this gets a doom. I think we just died. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're dead. Wow. Oh, that was unfortunate. Yep. 
The turn before we're going to win, we die. That's ludicrous. Because that triggers a breach here. Uh, I don't think it's connected there. Yep. Hangman Hill was the one. Wow, that is so disappointing. So disappointing. Yeah, I had it beat, and then I just randomly drew the wrong card. So, uh, uh, yeah, this one triggers, and that's, uh, we end up with uh, seven doom. Just like that. Uh, actually, when Doom would be placed on the agenda, yeah, so it triggers the Doom. You check Doom after you place Doom on the agenda, if I remember correctly. So this gets a Doom. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I kill myself with Renfield. Smart. Well, that was disappointing. Um, what happens here? Uh, yeah, we just end up going to R four. Well, that was a bit of a, a clusterfuck there at the end. Um. One turn, one turn. I'm just gonna play it out just for, just to see if I would have killed him this turn. Uh, we'll draw an encounter card. There's a demonic piping that surges into a hunting shadow, uh, which I could cancel with that. Yeah, wow. Actually, no, I wouldn't cancel it with that. I would cancel it with this. Uh, so I would shuffle it back in. Uh, and that gives us a... Uh, four, five, six. So we have a willpower of six. We would have gained three actions. We would have moved down. He would have engaged us. We would have fried him with shriveling. So six, seven, eight, nine versus four. And we draw plus one, so we deal three damage to him. And he only has four health. And we do it again. We get a minus one and he dies. So, I don't know. That is uh, in the clutches of chaos. Unfortunately, we just drew one random location wrong and it, uh, and we got three, we got three doom just like that, and that was enough to uh, end the game on us. So uh, we get R4, which uh, means that uh, uh, Carl, if Carl Sanford possesses the secrets of the universe, it's R4. I think it just means we have worse doom, uh, more doom uh, at, before the Black Throne. Um, what can I say? I mean, that's a disappointing way to lose when you're one turn away from winning and that happens. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. Um, Diana not having the agility to really deal with this location is a big problem. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so that was, uh, we're going into, we chalk up a loss that should have been a win, I think, in my book. Uh, we were one turn away. We had everything we needed. We just drew the wrong card. So 
That's the breaks. I hope you uh, enjoyed this playthrough. If you're a Patreon supporter, remember to check your email for the uh, Patreon uh, post game show that will follow this. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I will be back. Uh, I'm hoping very soon with the uh, playthrough for be uh, Beyond uh, Before the Black Throne because I would like to get to uh, the Dreamlands playthroughs because I am enjoying those uh, scenarios quite a bit and they are uh, far less random than this uh, than this one so uh, you can look forward to those uh, coming up soon thank you uh, very much for watching and uh, stay tuned for more great Arkham Horror LCG content that's going to do it for this episode if you enjoy what you hear remember to like comment and subscribe if you need to contact me, I can be reached at manfromlang at gmail.com. I'm also on Twitter at manfromlang. Until the stars are right, keep your shotgun close and your elder sign closer. Take care out there and happy investigating.